you are all welcome to my channel my name is Miss Chikojo today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious spinach pizza we're going to use the dough with spinach so I hope you are going to love the video this is how it looks when it is done so I'm excited to share this with you I hope you're going to love the video I hope it is going to help you so that you're going to enjoy the pizza too because i love it that's why i decided to share it with you so now i'm going to show you the ingredients we're going to use fresh tomatoes spring onion fresh spinach oil flour salami yeast cheese and salt this is what we're going to use to make our perfect pizza believe you me you are going to love it so now what you have to do first you just have to cut the spring onions i've cut them already and they are i mixed them with spinach so now i'm going to blend the spinach and spring onions together so that i'll come out with a nice smoothie so now blend it you have to blend it until it is very smooth So you can see, you can see how it is now. But when you are blending it, please don't forget to add water. It will make it easier to blend it if you add a little bit of water, not too much. Just a bit of water like that. And now you continue blending it. So that I'm using a small one. If you use a big one, it is also easier and fast. So now I'm done blending my spinach and my spring onion. Now I'm going to put flour into a bowl. So I'm going to use two cups of flour to make my, my dough now. And add one tablespoon of yeast, two teaspoons of salt, Now mix then the next thing I'm going to add my spinach smooth into the flour and mix this is very fun to make so I'll be adding my flour as I told you I'm going to use two cups so I make sure that I will use two cups. So I'll be adding my flour and mix it. So now, this is it. Mix now very well. Take your time. You really have to take your time. Now I'll add a half tablespoon of oil. and continue mixing so now i'm going to cover it to leave it to double the size now you can see now it is doubled the size and now i'm going to mix it again so now it's time for me to make my dough just to knead it so I'm going to use flour more flour to knead my dough you have to be patient and take your time So now it means you'll be adding flour until you can see that your dough is thick enough. And now knead until it doesn't stick. It should not be sticking. So you have to knead it for about 5 to 7 minutes. 5 to 7 minutes kneading.
so now it doesn't stick anymore i'm going to put it in a bowl again and leave it for 30 minutes cover it and leave it for 30 minutes now after 30 minutes you can see how it looks so i'm going to need it a bit more this time not so long so we have a very nice dough there and it looks good can't wait to eat it now flatten it just flatten it so now it's very easy to flatten because it doesn't stick so it makes it easier now turn it and flatten it again Make sure you spread flour under so that it will not be sticking. Now oh, this looks good. Now I'm going to spread flour in my pizza pan. Then I put the dough inside and shape it. I'm going to use a knife to cut, to shape it. So now it is equal. I'm going to flatten it a bit more. Perfect. So now I'm going to cut my fresh tomatoes. Like that. I'm not going to use tomato sauce or anything. I'm just going to use fresh tomatoes. It's very nice that way. Then cut the onion. You're also going to use a large onion. Don't forget that. We're going to need a large onion. Only that I didn't put it when I was showing you the ingredients. But we're going to use large onion. Now spread the tomatoes. On top put them on, on top as I'm showing you then the onions we're going to come up with a very delicious pizza today now I'm going to add my Salami. And then in the middle, I'll add cheese. Not all, but a bit. Then I'm going to add salami again. I just want it to be very rich so that it will taste well. Now I'm going to add more cheese. I'm going to add a lot of cheese because I love cheese. You can see a lot of cheese. And now in oven, I'm going to use 150 degrees. The pizza is done. That's how it looks. Thank you for watching everybody. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Share the video. Bye.